Yo, what's up guys? Jace Press here coming at you with another video and today I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is Thanksgiving. I forgot to post a video. I know, shame on me. But I just wanted to come on here and say what's up everyone. Um, sorry I ain't made a video in a while. I've just been so busy. And I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Whoever watches these videos. Thank you, uh, thank you for me to be a part of your life or, you know, make you smile just that one time, you know. Um, because you don't know what the impact you have on somebody when you're making a funny video or you're making, you know, somebody laugh. And that's one of the things I'm thankful for. And I'm going to say what I'm thankful for. Like, number one is YouTube. Where would I be today without YouTube? Because if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't be out making somebody's day or making somebody laugh that I don't know. Or, you know, when that person is down and out and they're looking through Face or YouTube or whatever and they see my videos and say, hey, let's check the guy out that puts peanut butter on his face, you know, and that person gets a chuckle out of it. I made that person's day. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because in my last video I said I had a bad reputation. Yes, I've had a bad reputation. Because my bad reputation is now behind me. It was in front of me, holding me down. It was like blocks pulling me down. Saying... You'll never succeed in your life. You're never going to be nobody. You're going to be at old, lonely, sad, or whatever in your life. You'll never be a leader in life. You're going to have a bad lifestyle. Yes, somebody's actually told me that. So, and that kind of took it to heart. But what I say, I'm going to, I'm going to brush that off because that's a hater. Because when you're trying to do something good, is that that's when somebody brings you down more. And another thing I'm thankful for, number two, is for my friends that I got. I got only a little bit of friends that I call best friends. And seriously, I have the little best, the circle of friends that I got. And if it wasn't for them... Always encouraging me. Always looking out for me. Saying, hey, Jacob, don't do that. Or, Jacob, yeah, that's a good move. I've made so many bad decisions going by so many negative people. I've lost so many things going by the people that's in my life today because of that one negative. Oh, you don't need that. Don't do that. See, guys, that's why I don't listen to certain people anymore. Because that person's there to drag me down the wrong path. And that's why I'm thankful for the friends that I got. Because, you know, they're always there to encourage me. They're always there, you know, to help me when I'm in need. Yeah, sometimes I'm down and out and I'm in need. But am I in need in personal stuff or money or nothing? No, I'm not in that kind of a need. I need a friendship need. Somebody there that hangs out with you on a day-to-day -day basis. Somebody to take that you go out to eat with, hang out, and have a good time. Don't care who you are or how old you are or whatever. That kind of friend. And you know who you are when who I'm talking about, you know, that's been a good friend of me. And I'm just thankful for it, you know. Because, you know, like looking back in my younger days, you know, I've been I've been in L L D classes. I got a speech impediment. And I've been called retarded, stupid, dumb. But it doesn't take a retarded guy to know 
and which I hate that word, by the way, doesn't take a retarded person to understand what your life is going to go through. People, people can bring you down. People, some people bring you down and they're just like, they're like that bricks, you know, a ton of bricks just pulling you to the surface or to, to the bottom of the ocean floor. So yeah, I'm thankful for the friends that I got. And third, I'm thankful for the friends that I got. I mean, not the friends, but the family. Some of the families in my life, you know, I'm not close to my dad's side. And that's a story for another time. I think I'm going to make a story about that. Because they ain't going to watch my videos. They Heck, they don't even like me. But, but on my mom's side, I'm thankful for. Especially my grandmother. My grandmother passed away two years ago. Or three. I'm going on three years ago. And like when... She was one of my, you know, accountability partners. She was always there on the phone talking to me all the time. She was there for support, you know. Anything I do, you know, I always ask her. I even, call, I even called her on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes I probably even bugged her and Robert, my uncle, which passed away four years ago this month. And it doesn't seem that long, and it just seems, you know, time flies by like we don't even know it. And, you know, I'm just thankful for what, you know, she shared with me and all the laughs she's given me. And, you know, yes, there's been times I've hurt her feelings. Like, when I was a kid, I remember, you know, I was a little hellion back then, and... My family can attest to it, you know. I was probably going to be the least of cost of my aunt grandma, but it wasn't because I changed then. And when somebody says that you'll never change for who you are, it kind of takes a toll on you. And I'm not, I'm trying, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry this video is, it's getting a little emotional when I'm talking about my grandma. Because, you know, she was there for me, and, you know, and you tell she loved me, and I actually love her. I never tell nobody I love them. But, yeah, like, it just, it just hurt me when, you know, I seen her gone, and she'll be never there to talk to. And my other family, you know, they're, they're there. They're, you know, they always talk to me, and they... You know, say how I'm doing and stuff. And I'm thankful for it, you know. I'm thankful to be close to my cousins. And I wish I could be a little more closer to them, like living down there. And which maybe someday it will happen, and I hope. Because, you know, they're... I've been around them since I was little. And moving up here in West Virginia in 2002 just pulls me away. I mean... It kind of, you know, I was kind of sad about it, which, you know, I'm, it's like I tell people, yes, I live in West Virginia. West Virginia is not my home. It's just, you know, it's just a place that I'm staying for right now. It's just a temporary home because this ain't my home. I'm not comfortable here. And I can't change that how I feel about it, but that's how I feel. And another thing I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for everything. And I'm thankful to have a good job that I got. And without that, where would I be today? I'd probably be still on SSI. Just wasting my life away. Not even thinking about YouTube for once. I'd probably be sitting at home playing video games like I do like on my days off. But uh, that's not the point. Because this job, I believe, is sent from God. 
and I fully believe in Jesus Christ, and I'm a Christian, and um, because that day, I lost my check that one day, and I thought my life was going, I thought my life was done, because I lost my car, we lost our house, and it just took a toll on me, because I went on top of the hill with a crowbar, when I seen that woman that caused this hell in my life. And when something telling me, Jacob, it's not worth it, go back down the hill. I went down the hill. And I'm just thinking, like, you know, I'm thinking today, I'm thinking like, you know, where would I be today if I would have done what I'd done? I'd probably be in jail. I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos. So, you know, from 2016 until now, my life has been good. No negativity in my life. No person on this side. And, sorry, I got a selfie stick in my hand, so I got to switch. And no person on this side telling me you will never make it. You will never succeed in life. You're going to be old, sad, lonely for the rest of your life. Because you're not making it. You don't have a job. You don't, you're not going to college. And, you know, that's one of my choices. He's like, oh, I graduated high school. I think that's enough. I don't need a college education to do what I'm doing. I don't need a college education to get on and make a video. I'm doing just fine without a college education. And and that's what I believe. That's what I choose not to do. I choose not to go to college. And but you got that one person that's pushing it, trying, oh, you need to go to college. You need to get more knowledge. Not really, they don't say it like that, but you know what I mean. So like I say, guys, I'm going to end with this here in a minute. Sorry it's a long video, but if you stayed here this long, I thank you for the support you post. You just, I'm thankful for the support you've done. Because if you're watching these videos, you're supporting my videos. You're supporting my content. And I'm thankful for it. Thank you for the 36 subscribers that I got. I gained one. Yippee. Um, just thank you guys. So, I'm going to leave you guys with this. So, if you like this video, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Twitter, Instagram, links are in the descriptions. And on Twitter, if you... Sorry. Hiccups from the soda. Oh, excuse me. So, anyway, if you... If you give me a follow on Twitter, I'll follow you back. It may not be right away because I'm usually busy or working or something, but I'll eventually get to you. So, yeah, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And always remember, guys, when somebody, tell you, when somebody brings you down, be that bigger person and say, I can do it. I'm going to get a shirt made and say, I can do it. So, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Jay Sprouse out, and happy late Thanksgiving.